afternoon. Today, I will explain how to implement FileSack into a real-life application. So say goodbye to all those tedious uploads processes. Managing file security can be challenging for developers and development companies, often resulting in delays, reputational risks, and strained client relationships. This is where FileSec comes in. FileSec simplifies file management and integration with features such as drag and drop, file uploads, image and video processing, and file conversion, and an easy integration with advanced features by streamlining file management and integration. FileSec saves developers time and resources, allowing them to focus on other aspects of building an application. But you may be wondering, okay, FileSec does look sounds good, but how this can be actually implemented in real life? In which situation could I use FileSec? So let's make a demo with a fictional company to explain an example of how this can actually be implemented. Imagine a body software company or a fictional company at this company, they build mobile and web applications for startups and big companies. As they continue to grow and take on more clients, they need to hire new developers and designers every month. However, the interview processes takes a lot of time and delays the application release dates. They are really worried because every waste of time is also a waste of money and every time it is possible to lose the client and the company's reputation is actually in risk. So they are thinking to automate this process and for this, they just hired a new developer named Johnny and now met Johnny. He's a JavaScript developer. The company is in need of a web platform that will allow them to post job offers and streamline the recruitment process by providing a platform for candidates to easily access job postings and submit their applications, including a video introducing themselves, the resume, and photos. The company can accelerate the interview process and find the new talent faster, and this will save a lot of time for the company. This application interface will have a login and sign up screen, and depending on your profile, you will be redirect to your respective portal. If you are a worker, you will be able to check all the job offers and apply for the jobs you like, and then upload a video, photos, and all the documents you need. If you are a company, you will be able to post all your job offers and check the offers from all the workers, and then record the one you like most. Now, Johnny is really stressed because he just realized he needs to do a lot of things and, well, he doesn't exactly know who to do all of them. This project involves creating HTML and CSS templates, along with JavaScript controller to control all the elements. A backend system needs to be developed to manage the database information for job offers made by the company. And the interface should allow workers to upload the information, which will be stored in a secure content delivery network. Virus detection software will be used to ensure the uploaded files are not infected, and workers will also be able to upload videos which can be viewed by the company. Also, a safe for work filter will be in place to ensure all the files are actually safe for work. And we need to be sure that all the files will be securely stored because they will contain sensitive information about people. Johnny will create HTML, CSS, and JavaScript templates, and the Express framework for the backend. And finally, we'll use, for example, PostgreSQL as a main database to store all the information. But he's still worried about the other complicated tasks. Fortunately, he just found FileSec. FileSec provides an easy-to-use file picker that allows workers to upload their CVs, photos, and videos quickly and easily. We can also use FileSec's content delivery network to show all the files to the company in a fast and efficient way. With FileSec security policies and signatures, we can be sure that all the files are secure and not available to the public. We can also use FileSec's PRS detection feature to scan all the uploaded files for viruses and ensure that they are safe to use. And also, we can use the Safer Work image and video feature to ensure that all the videos and images will be safe for work, making it easier for the company to process the applications. Overall, using FileSack allows us to simplify and accelerate the job application process, saving us time and resources while ensuring the security and safety of all the files uploaded. Now, maybe you are thinking, okay, Rodrigo, you got me. FileSack is amazing, but what's next? How can I actually implement FileSack, all these features, into my application? But don't worry, right now I'm going to explain step by step how to make this application and then I will explain how to implement each of these FileSack features. See you right now. Here is the application I made. For this, I developed the application that Johnny needs to deliver. I use the Express framework 
from Node.js that is a very popular minimalist web framework that provides a simple yet powerful set of features for building web applications and APIs. This code is an example of how a server-side application is built using the Express framework in Node.js. The first two lines import the necessary models for the application. Then initializes the Express application and subsequent lines at middleware functions to the application, such as the body parser middleware and cross-origin resource sharing or course, to allow requests from other domains. The application then defines truths by requiring a separate roots.js file and using the app.use method to attach the roots to the application. Finally, the application defines a directory of serving static files and exports the app model for use in other parts of the code. Anyway, this code is a simple example of how to use Express Framework to build a web application with middleware roots and static file serving. And here into my index.js, here I just started the application listening the port 3900. Okay, now this code is an example of how I defined the roots for an express web application in OGS. The code imports the necessary models for the application. The code defines a series of HTTP routes for the application, such as login, sign up, company, and worker, which are associated with corresponding methods defined in the HTML controller. The code also defines routes for inserting and retrieving data from a database, as well as retrieving lists of states, cities, and skills. And well, for this, I made two controllers. One of them is the HTML controller. And when a request is made to one of these routes, the corresponding function is called and returns an HTTP response with a status code of 200 and the contents of the HTML file. And in the other hand, the database controller has several functions for handling user registrations, job offers, and related data in the database. The controller uses models for users, job offers, skills, and locations to interact with the database through a custom database utility model that I will talk about later. The functions in the controller include registering a user, inserting a job offer with mandatory and soft skills, getting all job offers or a specific skill for a job offer, getting all states or cities in a state, logging in as a user, and updating a user's information. The controller communicates with clients through the HTTP request and responses using, as you know, the Express.js framework. And now, here is my database utility. That this is a JavaScript class called database that handles database connectivity and crude operations. It requires the PG package and has a constructor that sets up the database connection parameters. The class has methods for connecting and disconnecting from the database, as well as for selecting, inserting, updating, and deleting data. The create keys and create values methods generate arrays of keys and values for use in the insert and update methods. Overall, this code provides a convenient way to interact with PostgreSQL, database in JavaScript. And here, you can find all the files I made to define my models. This corresponds with my database. I create my databases using PostgreSQL. Here you can see all the tables I made for this project. Later, I will explain where these databases are called in the application. So right now, I'm going to explain the interface and how the application is actually working. First, we need to initialize our application. We are going to add a new terminal and write the npm start command. And now we are going to click on the link. Now, we just need to add the extension, login. Now, I'm going to walk you through our new application. 
First, let's talk about the login process. You have the option to log in using your email and password. This login checks the user's table from the database. In case you're a new user, you can sign up by clicking the sign up button and filling in other fields. You will have to decide whether you are a company looking for workers or a worker looking for a new job. Once you log in, you will be redirected to the worker or the company's portal, depending on your profile. In this case, I will log in with a company's profile. Here, you will be able to check all the offers from workers interested in some job from the company. And here, you can update your company's data, such as your location and other important details. And the states and cities are taken from the tables states and cities from our database. Also, if you have any questions or problems, you can contact the application manager. And there is also an About tab where you can find all the information related to this web page. And finally, the Offer New Job tab. And as the name suggests, this tab allows you to create and post new job offers. You can add the name of the job and its salary, as well as the mandatory skills required for the job, sub skills, and all the things you need. Uh, let me show you an example. Uh, suppose you're looking for maybe a front-end developer who's proficient in JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. You also want someone with experience in Angular and React, and the salary for the job is maybe 50000 per year. To create this job offer, you will add the job title from then developer and the salary amount. Next, you will list the mandatory skills as JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. Then, you will add the soft skills as Angular, React, and possibly Build. And finally, you will provide a brief description of the job, such as what the developer will be working on or what the company does. And once you're done, you can submit the job offer, and it will be visible to all workers who have signed up on the application. Workers can apply for the job if they met the required skills and qualifications. Now, let's log in using a worker's email. When you do this, you will be able to see all the job offers that were posed by the company. You can check the details of each offer, including the mandatory soft skills, the salary, and, well, any other information provided by the company. And, well, if you are interested in a particular job, you can click in the Apply button to submit your application. And, like in the company portal, workers can also update their personal information and curriculum in this portal. You can access the Contact and About tabs here as well. And now, remember Johnny, our fictional developer, Jenny has almost finished coding the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for this project, as well as creating the necessary databases and backend connections. However, he's concerned about file management, security, and who to protect against viruses. These are all complicated issues that he needs to address, but fortunately, he just discovered a solution, FileStack. In the next set of videos, I'll guide you through how to use files like step by step. You'll see how easily it can solve all Johnny's problems in just a few minutes. With FileSack, you can manage and secure your files, prevent viruses, and much more. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.